Okay, so the area uh, looking at in PowerPoint, module six for the ICDL qualification, Stephanie Toman here, is the format tab. We call it the format tab because all drawing objects, no matter what you need to do with them, resize, rotate, align, and all the manipulation that you can do, the, the grouping, layering, it's all done through this format tab. So it's a really useful area to, to know and to understand. So I hope this is really helpful in real life and also for the exam that you use the right features. For example, you don't rotate manually. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Bye bye. You can um, add text as it's got there directly into it. You don't have to put a text box in anymore. You can um, draw a circle using an oval. So the way we get our shapes is to go to insert shapes, pick up your oval, hold your shift key down and you will get a perfect circle. For a square, as it's got there, you would hold a shift when you've got, it's already come up there now for me already, in the format page, hold the shift and you get a perfect square. An error, uh, an arrow, um, if you're asked to change the end of an arrow, if you right click and you go to format shape, the end of the arrows become clear very quickly and you can change the end of an arrow there. So you can do lots of things with these objects while we're still in there. We can um, change shapes of things as well, but we could remove, let's first of all, before we change shapes and use rotation and alignment, let's remove some of the animations. Remember animations, animation pane. If we wanted to remove that one, we could delete. And then we could go on to delete others as well. So they are there. And if we wanted to put one back on again, go into animations, apply it, and you get a quick preview of it. And then it's added. So moving on, if we just move on to the next slide, let's close that down. As you can see here, you can have a go at drawing a perfect square and then using the tool, what we call rotating. So if we click on an object, it suddenly appears that we have a drawing tools tab goes for all of them. So every time you are asked to do something in PowerPoint with regard to a drawing object, use the format tab. Generally, everything you need is there. And some of the things you might need are the rotate function here. You can see how it changes depending on how I do it. Or the alignment tool. So you've got different, if I click on them, distribute horizontally and distribute vertically. So you've got all these ways of moving things around without just grabbing it and doing that. So it's actually doing it properly using the tool. We change the arrow end. Do you remember how we did it? Right click, format, and then you've got the end arrow type and you change it to another one. Close that down. If you were going to resize something and it wasn't happy being that size, let's, for example, go into this object, object one, and we're going to uh, do the height eight, only four at the moment, and the width eight. It doesn't sort of fit in with the shape, does it? If we go to this little launcher in the bottom here, it's allowed me to do that because the lock ratio aspect is off. If I click it on and close that, see how it's, make sure that stays on. I'm trying to change that to a six. It takes them both to six. So because it's sort of acting a bit like a circle in a square, that's what happens when it comes to trying to change. Okay, so if I try to change that to a five, it doesn't like the ratio, so it changes them both to five, and that's because that's on. Take it off, close it, and then I can change that to a six. 
and it allows it. Okay, so we'll be really aware of the ratio, the lock ratio. Final parts of the slide is grouping and layering. So these are quite the layering is quite easy because you can see the format tab came up straight away as soon as I clicked on the object. Click on it again, it's back, off it, it's gone. So you can right click on these and you can bring to the front, send to the back. This obviously won't bring to the front because it's already at the front. But you can send to right to the very back. Or you can send something backward, which means it only goes one layer. So if you use right to the back or right to the front, you're taking it through the layers. Otherwise, so if I put this right at the back, and you've got them here as well, um, right backwards one layer, all the way back, all the way back. Okay. When it comes to the hearts, you can see that they're grouped. And it's a really good, useful tool if you want to take the whole of something somewhere else, for example, a flow, shop, flow chart. So you don't want to take every single thing into another application and take them in one by one. So you group it all in one picture, and then you can ungroup it again and mess, and mess about with it. This one's grouped. So it's either up here on there where you can ungroup it, or you can right click and ungroup it. And when you ungroup it, you see it becomes separate images. That are individual again okay so I could set it up differently and then hold in the select key uh, the shift key select them or right click and group and then it becomes one picture again okay so that's quite easy to do so have a little practice at that